Hey everybody, I'm Joe Kistel, and today I'm going to show you how to fix a toilet that has a low water level in the bowl itself. So you're going to want to stick around because nobody likes to use a toilet that doesn't have sufficient water. So if you're in the situation where the water level in your toilet bowl is too low, there might be a simple fix. So here's the problem. Our water is here, giving us a small target, and it really should be here, giving us a larger and easier target. Dum, dum, dum. No way, Jose! The problem in this case is the fill valve apparatus. Now, to work on this, we're gonna need to work inside the toilet tank. And before you say, ew, just bear in mind that the water inside the tank is a fresh water from the utility supply, so it's clean. Unless for some reason you urinate in your toilet tank as opposed to the bowl. So that would be raunch. And what's actually happening is this has a leak in it, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to flush it here in a second. And what that's doing is taking water pressure away from this hose here, and this is what refills the toilet bowl. So watch, I'm going to show you this leak here. That's the leak right there. Alright, so here's our refill apparatus. And what is supposed to happen here is a toilet container actually is supposed to fill up through here. That's where the water is supposed to come through. And then water comes out through here to fill the, um, the bowl basically. And so let's take this apart and see what was wrong. So, take this out. So you see there's a diaphragm here. And if you look at it closely, you can actually see there's a breach in this diaphragm here. So what's happening is water is shooting out of here, taking water pressure away from here, limiting the amount of water that goes in the bowl. So this is what our problem was. The simple and easy solution is to replace the fill valve. And in this case, I'm changing to an upgraded model and it's still under $10, so it's a cheap fix. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to turn off the water to the toilet. Then we want to flush the toilet one more time to remove the water from the toilet tank. After that, we need to go ahead and loosen the nut that's holding the water supply. Next, we need to loosen the foundation nut that's holding the fill valve into the tank. Now the entire old fill valve can be removed from the tank. Here is the new fancy apparatus. First thing I'm going to do is adjust it. And when you get it there, slide that back down. So what we're going to do is we're going to slide this end into the toilet. This gasket actually goes on this. Slide that down. Now we place a new fill valve into the tank and it obviously goes in the same hole that the old fill valve came out of. Now we attach the foundation nut to the bottom of the fill valve and we snug it down to a hand tightness. Then we need to attach the water supply and we want to tighten this nut to a pretty good firm hand snugness. Now we turn the water back on and we watch the water level in the tank and most likely the new fill valve is going to need some adjusting. So in this model we simply adjust the screw, makes it go up or down until we get at the height we want. In this case we want the water line to come up just a little bit below the bowl fill tube. And then now that it's filled, we go ahead and put this in there, lock it. Fill it up right where it needs to be. So there you have it. The water level is where it needs to be. And this is a fairly common problem and it's a very easy fix. And once your toilet's complete, you can rest assured that your toilet users will have confidence when they use your toilet. Thanks for watching everybody, I'm Joe Kistel. If you like this video, please consider subscribing.